Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. We're going to start by optimizing Windows. After that, we're going to look at your NVIDIA parameter. And at the end, we will go inside of the game. So now for Windows, we're going to start by writing settings. And we're going to go to the settings of Windows 11. We're going to start by gaming over there. So the first one is game bar. This one I really recommend to deactivate it. It's causing issue and also you're losing some FPS with it. Except if you have a Ryzen uh, CPU, the 7900X3D or the 7950X3D, they're using uh, the game bar uh, to prioritize your CCD when you're playing video games. So super important to use that if you have those processors. If you have any other processor, just deactivate it. After that, we're going to go to graphic. We're going to change default graphic setting over there. Make sure that your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is at on. Super important to do that. We're going to go to gaming again. Capture, capture. Make sure that everything is deactivated like this. So uh, you want to save all your resources. And the last one is game mode. Now game mode honestly is really, really good. Back then with Windows 10, it was a bit sketchy and a lot of like stuttering issue. But now you really need to using it uh, to make sure that all your resources are pri prioritizing your video games. Another thing that I recommend, we're going to go to system is your power uh back then uh, we were recommending to use the best performance but now honestly just use balance you will have better boost clock longer boost clock uh, i did a couple of benchmark balance versus per best performance and honestly i'm getting better result with balance so super important to do that Another thing I want to mention is some recommendations. So make sure that your uh, XMP profile is activated if you have it on your BIOS, super important. Make sure that you download the latest uh, chipset driver for your CPU if you have an AMD or Intel. Also make sure that you update your BIOS to make sure that you have all the latest update from your uh, CPU or your uh, uh, motherboard provider. Make sure that you have your Windows update up to date. And the last one is also make sure that you have the latest driver from your GPU. So if you have an NVIDIA card, Radeon or Intel, super important. They always push new update and they optimize a lot of stuff in it. So now let's go to the NVIDIA app. The first thing that I want to recommend, uh, I'm not a huge fan, honestly, of the um overlay so nvidia overlay i really recommend to deactivate this one sometimes it's causing issue like stuttering you're losing some fps with it so i really recommend to deactivate it also we're gonna go to the control panel i'm gonna show you some optimization that you can do so we're gonna go to the manage 3d setting first so the first thing that you should definitely activate it is your low latency mode make sure this one is at on Another thing that I recommend is your power management mode. This one, pretty much the same thing than the, the, the one from Windows. Make sure that you're using normal. Don't use the maximum performance. I'm getting also better boost clock, more FPS with it. And the last one is your shader cache size. By default, your cache will be a driver default like this. And normally it's four gig. Uh, I recommend to start with 10 if you don't have a lot of space on, on your computer. And if you have a lot of space, go with 100 gig. Honestly, it's a game changer for your cache size. Uh, you're going to struggle less with stuttering and also that your game need to recompile and stuff like that. If you install a lot of game, uh, this one can be very good for you. Now let's go to change resolution. The last one, really important to make sure that first of all, that you're selecting the uh, monitor, uh, that uh, first of all, you're using the native resolution of your monitor and also super important to have a proper refresh rate over there. Uh, by default, sometimes when you just change your monitor, it will be at 60 Hertz. Uh, so depending on the type of monitor that you buy, 144, 240, make sure that you're selecting this one. This option also, you can change it on Windows or your Radian driver if you have a Radian car. So no problem with that. The last one is your G-Sync. If you want to activate your G-Sync, really important to select the monitor. It needs to be compatible and you will enable over there. Uh, I'm not using G-Sync me. I always unlock my FPS because I want the lowest input lag. But if you don't like those steering line, definitely activate your G-Sync over there. So now let's go back to the game. So we're going to start with the graphics settings. So first of all, resolution, make sure that you're playing native. So depending on your monitor, in my case, it's 1440p. Super important to play full screen, less input lag, more FPS. 
overall uh, image quality we're gonna go with custom because we're gonna change some stuff if you want to see your fps you can put this one at on but also you can use another software like ms afterburner i'm not using vsync so i just unlock everything i, I don't like vsync it just add um, input lag when you're playing but you can use other option like free sync or g-sync if you have a compatible monitor with your video card Frame rate limit, I just go at 240, I have a 240 hertz monitor, and this is pretty much the cap that I can do in this game. Uh, don't go too crazy with your frame rate, if you have a thermal issue, don't uh, put too much pressure on your GPU, CPU if you're playing, for example, on a laptop, sometimes it can cause stuttering when you're playing the game. Horizontal FOV, I'm going with the default 95, uh, you need to understand that when you go higher, you can lose FPS with this one. After that, you have the upscaling technique. For sure, if you have an RTX card, we'd go with DLSS at quality and adjust your slider for sharpness. At quality, you're going to gain like 10% of your FPS. Uh, lower than that, honestly, the game looks too blurry, so I don't recommend to using it. And if you want just pure image quality, go with native AA. It's pretty much the LAA. And uh, you can expect to lose 10 to 12% of your FPS with this one. If you feel that your game is too blurry, go higher with your sharpness. If it looks too much like an Instagram filter, go lower with this one. It's pretty much the same thing with FSR. Uh, if you have a Radiant car or you don't have like uh, RTX on, uh, you don't have an RTX card, go with FSR quality. You can expect 8% boost over there. For camera effect, I recommend to go motion blur at off, near DOF at off, better visibility when you will do that. So after that, just confirm and we're going to go to advanced settings. So advanced setting, you have a couple of options over there. I want to show you which one will provide you the most of your FPS and the goal here is to keep a decent image quality, but uh, everybody has a different computer and everybody has a different goal with their FPS. So the first one is object quality. I recommend to go with this one uh, at medium. Uh, you can expect 7% boost in your FPS. Particle, honestly, it's tanking your FPS a lot, this one, and it's not huge to go at low. Uh, you're not necessarily seeing it, so definitely go with low with this one. Lighting and global illumination, I recommend to go with medium. You can expect a nice 10% boost, but, uh, both at medium, So and you're going to keep a decent quality. Post process quality, medium or low, honestly, the game looks blurry at high and ultra. I'm not a huge fan of post process quality, so definitely start at medium. Shader quality, this one you can run easily high, so my recommendation is go with high. Shadow, this one is huge. If you compare ultra to low, you can expect a 20 to 22% boost in your FPS. But the thing is, the game looks flat at low, so it really depends. If you're struggling to run the game, go with low. If you, you don't struggle, go with medium with this one. Texture, if you have uh, 8 gig or more of VRAM on your GPU, go Ultra. 6 gig I, 4 gig medium, and less than 4 gig, go with low. Volumetric effect detail, this one is kind of huge also. Uh, if you compare Ultra to low, you can expect like 10% boost. At medium, it will be 8. At low, uh, the game looks very flat, so recommendation again, go with medium. Vegetation detail, go with medium. 5% boost over there. And the last one is character detail. You can run easily. I not too much impact on your FPS. So this is pretty much it, guys, for my Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 guide. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.